Wow, we're going through an amazing winning streak. I'm Professor MJ, I hold a PhD in statistics, and I love to help savvy sports investors like you to boost your bankroll. Well, it's pretty simple. We've made money in each of the past seven days. Now you can see on your screen all of the details. For example, last night we got a one and one record, but we made a profit of 0.65 units because the win occurred on an underdog as we picked the Arizona Coyotes in Washington. So that means that if you bet 100 bucks on each of the two plays yesterday, you made a profit of 65 bucks yesterday. Now, last weekend, we won close to seven units. Things went pretty, pretty well. We also had a great day last Thursday, November 7th, with a three and one record, which included the Rangers pulling off a big upset over Carolina that paid off big time. So if you add these numbers up, over the past seven days, we got a 16 and 10 record. Now, normally, if the average odds on our winning bets had been even money, which means plus 100 in American format, or if you're more comfortable with decimal odds, it means 2.0, well, we would have been up by about six units during this time frame. But as you can see at the bottom, we won close to 13 units because many underdogs that we picked won. And as you, if you've been following me a little bit, you certainly noticed that most of the time we are betting underdogs. And actually past data shows clearly that generally speaking, you are better off betting underdogs than favorites because the not so smart gamblers will put their money on a regular basis on favorites because they feel more comfortable. Now this is an awesome, great run and I could brag about it for five minutes, but I prefer to take some time to remind you what I believe is an important mantra to have as a sports gambler. Never go too high on winning streaks and don't get too low during losing streaks. Now the first part is not too difficult, but the latter part is more difficult. I've seen many sports bettors go through inevitable losing streaks. I mean, even the best sports handicappers in the world will go through bad losing streaks. But many people will simply give up and they will lose faith in their own ability to predict the outcome of games or they will lose faith in their betting systems. I'll be honest with you, the NHL picks did not do so well in October, but I kept grinding and grinding and I kept faith in my betting angles. And we are getting paid off big time recently. And as a matter of fact, no matter what happens, I'm just going to keep playing those betting systems through the whole season. Okay, I really trust those betting systems. So always remember that as a sports better, you really need some form of mental toughness. The dirty mental. Today we have four of them. So the first one is rated one star, which means it's based on just one betting system, and it's a strategy that I like a bit less than the others. Actually, it's based on the big upset betting system. I'm going with the Florida Panthers at the Boston Bruins tonight. The second pick rated two stars, which means it meets the criteria of just one system, but it's a betting strategy that I like quite a bit because it has done very well in the past and it also makes sense to me. I'm going with Colorado as slight underdogs in Winnipeg tonight. The next pick goes to the Edmonton Oilers at plus 124 odds in San Jose. It's rated three stars because it meets the criteria of two betting systems. One that I like a lot and the other not so much. Now my own personal opinion may not matter here, 
but this may still be my favorite pick of the day. But as a statistician, I prefer to stick to fixed betting systems rather than going with my gut feeling that is not always right, obviously. The last pick rated four stars, so it's based on two betting systems, both of which are very promising. It suggests to bet the Arizona Coyotes for the second straight day at plus 145 odds at the St. Louis Blues. Now I know they may be tired from playing last, last night, but the betting angles recommend going with Arizona tonight. So thanks a lot for watching. I would not be shooting those videos if you were not there. So I really appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you will find them very insightful and rewarding. Once again, a quick reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to reach 1000 subscribers as soon as possible. I'm now close to 400. So that's pretty encouraging. And by subscribing, you are not going to miss out on any of my picks. You'll get an alert as soon as I release a new video. Alright, so this is Professor MJ saying so long.